UK Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Wells Fargo Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Welcome to Quail Hollow Club. I'm Luke Elvey with my mate Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, this golf course really smacks you in the face straight out of the gates, doesn't it? 512 yards par four, thank you very little. Dog leg to the right, bunkers down the left-hand side. Only reserved for the long hitters, but the second shot to a very narrow green that sits down below the player. It's a very difficult opening hole. You make four here, you're pretty happy. Well, it's time for the preamble to be set aside. Let's get into the action. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. That was wonderfully done. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 195 yards. Wow, that drive, incredible stuff. Over 300 yards. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Go to your home ball. Go to your home. Well, Rich, that's ideal. A birdie to start the day. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Time to tee off at the second. Mm. 
Well, that was just striped. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Hey guys, we are checking in with Tiger Woods as he gets set for his next shot here on the seventh. Well, nice to drop a putt of that length. Well done. And that will take him to three under. Let's get back to it, shall we? That makes its way to the first cut. Going with the pitching wedge here. Wow, did this come out beautifully. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. Seven feet to the cup. This for back-to-back -back birdies. This is looking solid, what they wanted. That will work on a roll here with back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. This should find the short grass. Time for the second shot into the third. approach didn't seem to fit their eye a bit short with that effort let's see if you can make this and keep the par on the car This one has eyes for the hole. Just didn't drop. This one's for bogey. Moving down the leaderboard after that hole. Teeing off here at the four. Going with the nine iron, I think. This one is all over it. Outstanding approach shot. Just six feet between he and the hole. I like the look of this. Yeah, nice effort from him. He bounces back from the bogey at the last hole. Unreal display this week with that wand. Let's go to our man, John, on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Hey, guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the fifth. Yeah, magical shot out of the bunker, that one. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Setting up now on a par four. <laughs> now 
That should find the cut stuff. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Yeah, he's got around 125 here. Going with the eight iron here. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. That's a golf shot. Oh, you love to see those shots land. What a play. And just a little bit of cleanup work remaining on this hole. Now, eight shots back after that hole. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. like that didn't you and Rich why don't we just get a little tiger highlight from a moment ago this is a second oh a little trickery no doubt about it an absolute beauty here what are we looking at for this putt Henny setting up this putt 17 feet from the cup It's tracking. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. We have a par five on this one. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. From about 200 yards out. They've decided to club up. That had a chance to go in for an albatross. What a beauty. More chance to sneak inside top 20 in the standings here with this putt. He finds himself in a share of 11th. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Well, they should be high on confidence stepping onto the tee now after that eagle at the last. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Oh, well played. Here's some action from just a short time ago. An absolute beauty here. <laughs> Prodigious effort there by Will. Let's return to live play now. Time for the second shot at the eighth. And this one to move into the top ten on the leaderboard. Oh, what a super shot. That's a good way to move into the top ten. Currently at seven under for the tournament. Welcome to the T of a par four.
It's like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. There's been so much great golf played here today. Why don't we head back to the 14th for this wonderful shot? This was his fourth shot. Wonderful shot by Tiger. Brilliant touch. And back to the play, shall we? Sitting at seven under par for the day. Tied for sixth position. Choosing the nine iron here. Now a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. A chance to move into the top five on the leaderboard. A good putt to make. Ooh, right by the hole. Oh, that's too bad. Putting for par. And down it goes. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. The back nine at Quail Hollow presents all sorts of challenges, Rich, and it opens up with a, a generous offering here at the 10th. The bunker down the left-hand side is only carried with the longest of tee shots. Leave it a little bit out to right. You're going to have some tree trouble on your second shot. Not a bad line, this one. One just missed the hole. But this player is really going after it here, Rich. Absolutely love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. And this putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. Oh, that's a nice line. He's made it for Eagle. To the top five he goes. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. Well, Rich, I'm pretty sure this player will be beaming with pride after that Eagle. Let's see if they can keep the momentum flowing. That dog will hunt. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Well, I wouldn't mind hitting the shot, but I wouldn't fancy the walk up here. This is quite uphill. This one looks to be heading towards the green. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green in reg here. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. That's pretty tidy. And that's for birdie. Well hold. Our coverage continues here at the 12th. And this shot from around 120 yards. This one is chewing fiber. Wow, what a shot. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12th. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that.
And what's in front of them there, Henny? And from about 105 yards, had a fantastic drive. Oh, stop it. What a shot. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. And there's highlights of plenty out there on the golf course. Let's take a look at this incredible shot. Oh, that's a beauty. How about holding that one? And a chance to move into a tie for second here. Looking good. And that's eight birdies today. I like it. Two in a row. And that finds him in a share of second. Gotta like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. I shot that. That should find the surface. Oh, that's a great shot. And sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. Rolling end to end is looking nice. Well played. Sitting at 12 under par for the day. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. But when you stand on the tee here at the 14th at Quail Hollow Club Rich, you're given two choices. Do you lay up or go for it? It begs you to take out the big stick and go for it. However, most days the proper play is take an iron out and lay it up down the right-hand side, opening up the green for the second shot. Quality shot, that one. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Has to put this one downhill. This one's online. They're nicely hold. Why don't we catch up with Brooke Henderson? Now, this is a challenging one. A lengthy putt awaits. Fantastic play so far, setting this up for the eagle. Oh, this looks pure. That's outstanding. What a putt. And with that, she'll move to seven under par. Incredible. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Well, they'll be looking to use that momentum they generated on the last with an eagle. Oh my, that was launched. Second shot here on the 15th. Opting for the five wood. This one's got eyes for the flag stick. Oh, I love this type of courage, Rich. Going forward in two. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. Trying to get to 16 under with this putt. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. Oh, 
was so close. This putt just five feet away from the hole. And that putt will drop and he'll extend his lead. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. As you find your way to the 16th hole at Quail Hollow Club, you're reminded that you're entering the Green Mile. Again, only the long players can carry the bunker down the right-hand side. Hit it out to the left, avoid that bunker, and give yourself the best opportunity to find the green in two. Oh, absolutely flushed. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Hey, guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the 17th. Oh, stop it. What a way to make you par. Oh, this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course, but no bother for this player. Playing from around 150 yards here, currently leading by three. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. Magical shot. And a fantastic look upcoming. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Leading by four strokes after that one. You've got to hit a number of big shots here at Quail Hollow Club and none bigger than the tee shot at the par 3 17th. Luke, time to step up and make the best swing of the day on this challenging par 3 17th. Find the center of the green and you're a happy player. Well, that's a handy shot. Time to catch up with the Canadian, Brooke Henderson. Look at the shot that this player possesses. Absolute buckets. Okay, time to return to the action. 16 feet to the hole. He's staring down a birdie putt here. play he's currently sitting in first place
Well, if you think you've passed the worst of it after playing the 17th at Quail Hollow Club, think again. Welcome to the last. Yes, water going all the way down the left-hand side of this fairway. That bunker on the right has crippled many a player. Find the fairway and give yourself an opportunity to find the green in two. That's tiny. Lining up from around 160 yards. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. A look here to get to 18 under the card with this putt. Oh, get in. And another round safely in the books.